Kelsey is done testifying. We're on a 15-minute break. This has to be quick. The key moment of her testimony, I think, has to come down to when the defense attorney elicited testimony from her suggesting that there was a physical altercation between her and Meg. Kelsey seemed very hesitant answering these questions like she didn't want to say. However, she then said, hey, we both got out of the car. You will remember Meg testified that Meg got out of the car. She does not know where Kelsey was. Kelsey was on the passenger side and that she turned around and she, she, she saw Tori shooting at her. Kelsey testified that this part she remembers. She and Meg both got out of the car and that there was a physical altercation. Kelsey described it as a bump. The defense attorney was like, really? You guys are super drunk. You just got into a yelling match with her over the fact that she was hooking up with Tori without you knowing. You also mentioned to her that this wasn't the first time she betrayed you like that. She had done it with one other guy. Interestingly, the defense had said it was Ben Simmons and baby. Kelsey said, I only named one name. She didn't confirm if it was Ben Simmons or baby. And the defense attorney is like, so after all that, you guys both get out of the car, and all that happened between the two of you was a bump? I'll tell you, I don't think anybody in the room believes that the only thing that happened between Meg and Kelsey that night as far as a physical altercation is a bump, especially not when the rest of the testimony confirmed that other than discussing how she's going to be moving out of the Airbnb that she was staying at with Meg, and she's going to be going somewhere else, other than a brief communication about her living arrangement, the two of them have not spoken. They have not called each other on the phone. They have not met in person. Oh, that's my